Hey guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Anna and today I have 10 tips to help on how to make your home your sanctuary. You know, sometimes our energy here at home is just too low. It's negative and we want to change that. And I have a few things that can help and it helped me so hopefully it can help you. So let's get right into our first and that is clean as you go. Now, sounds simple, yes, but I have to thank my mother for this one because as a Portuguese child, all she wanted me to do is just clean and it was just put my shoes away, put things away, and I hate it at the time, but I thank her so much for it now. So clean as you go. If you have a few dishes, you drink a cup of coffee, you put it in the sink, you leave it, later it's going to accumulate. So it's just best to just wash it out, put it on your drying rack, or if you don't even want to do that, you put it in your dishwasher. Tip number two, and that is smudging your home. I like to use white sage. I know a lot of people um, use white sage and they also use um, Palo Santo, which I try not to go that route only because it is not good for the forest and obviously they're cutting down trees because of the supply that people need for the Paleo Santo. It does, you know, the same thing. It balances the energy that is in the air, around you, the home, objects, anything. So all you gotta do is just light the sage and you just go around the home and purify the air um, that way. Tip number three is candles. Now, I'm combining candles and wax melts because there's just something about candles that I am obsessed with. I'm sure I'm not alone. I'm most positive you have a candle in your home right now. Um, but yeah, I am obsessed with lighting that first fresh wick, knowing that I'm gonna get a scent that I love. It just blows my mind. So I would stick to the things that are, you know, towards you. If you have a particular scent that you enjoy, um, everybody's different. Some people like the beach smell, some people like earthy smells or, you know, flower smells. I try to just stick with the seasonal things. I'm always rushing to Bath and Body Works just to get that balsam pine during the winter or, you know, a pumpkin spice for October. Um, so it really depends on what you are looking for. There are a few that I do enjoy. Um, you know, just lighting up. I try to stick with soy or plant-based candles only because sometimes I, don't get me wrong, I love Yankee Candle. It's just sometimes the scent is too strong if it's not soy or plant-based. Um, so it tends to give me a headache. But I try to stick with the other ones that I just enjoy doing during seasonal. And it just feels so good because you got that warm glow from a candle. But if you are afraid to light candles and don't want that responsibility, my tip number four is um, an alternative just in case. So tip number four, and that is um, aromatherapy diffusers. Now I've gotten really into these lately only because, you know, sometimes if I'm cleaning the house, I have them on and not only are they purifying the air as well, but the essential oils that you do use help with certain benefits. So uh, let me see, the ones that I use the most are eucalyptus, lavender, tea tree, and two citruses, which are orange and lemon. Now, depending on which ones you use, you can mix them as well. There is one essential oil that I am obsessed with. When I tell you obsessed, you know, if I could drink this oil, I would. I totally would, but I'm not going to. Um, Walt's Wonderful World, and that is a smell. It smells just like Disney. And when I tell you it smells so good, my boyfriend, Jordan, who fused it for his car, because why not? It just helps with, you know, clearing the air and other things, but he um, put in Walt's Wonderful World so it smells like Disney in his car. It's like we're traveling to Disney World, not ever going to Disney World. And tip number five is Himalayan salt lamps. Um, I do have a few around the house. I have a big one in between two bedrooms. I have one in the guest room. I have one in the bedroom and the living room. You can never have enough 
Milan salt lamps. Now, this helps with electromagnetic radiation. It also boosts mood. It helps sleep, which I need. And it also purifies the air as well. So this is really good for people who have asthma. Now, there is a dimmer on mine, so you can either put it up all the way or put it down. I keep mine on 24 seven. I do not turn them off. Um, they do say once the crystal itself, the Himalayan salt lamp, which is a crystal, once it heats up, that's when it works its best. The hotter it is, and not only that, but the glow, it's, it's a very warm light glow, but you could dim it as much as you want. Tip number six is crystals. Crystals are a very big part of my life. Um, ever since I was little, I used to have pet rocks and I couldn't understand why, but now as an adult, I do understand. And it it's one of those things that if you hold a crystal or if you put it up to your body, it interacts with your energy and it starts healing that you know that body part that you need to be healed crystals have a lot of you know healing people use it for reiki you know people carry rocks with them guilty i'm constantly carrying something right, once you get into that world of crystals trust me they'll be scattered around the house and you you just feel the energy that it brings from that crystal Tip number seven is lighting. I cannot stress how important lighting is because it has such a huge effect on me from the time that I get up to the time I go to bed. And it helps because I do have migraines at times and usually lights are the first things to trigger that. So to make it my sanctuary, I don't have the privilege to use dimmers because it is an apartment, uh, so Jordan and I can't really mess around with that. But usually after dinner, um, we turn those lights off and um, luckily they're warm lights. They're not LEDs or anything because that, that just, that's never fun. You can use other things. You have candles, you have diffusers that have lights. You can use decor that has some sort of glow. We even put Christmas tree lights behind the TV just to give it a glow that's bouncing off the wall. Everything helps, so feel free to do everything and anything to kind of give you like that. It's, it's time to relax, it's time to go to bed, it's time to shut down the mind and just breathe and feel good and, you know, put you in that sense of calmness. Tip number eight is live plants. Uh, live plants are important. Not only do they look good, but if you take care of them, they will take care of you. Now they will give oxygen and they do feed on our CO2. So you may catch me talking to my plants here and there, but they love it. And if they love it, they're gonna give it back to me in a way that I'm gonna feel good. So they do reduce stress as well. I propagate my plants, which is where you cut in certain spots and then they just regrow. So I am working on that now. I know winter time is a little harder, but it's really good to have plants in your home to give you not only a good you know, decor feel, but they are doing something. So this brings us to tip number Tip number nine, I'm actually combining art and decor because listen, the truth is we do things or we go to places because we love certain things. Example, I am a hiker. I love the outdoors. I love, 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 love earth tone colors. And you know, those things make me feel really good. So I'm going to incorporate that into my home. And what I mean by that is for example, the painting behind me, I travel. I love to travel and it's got earth tone colors. The decor here is very, very earth tone. It's very, it's slightly bohemian, um, but it's more of like, you know, the greens, the browns, the beiges, the, the sand colors. It's the things I would see while I'm hiking. There's certain, you know, glows, there's stones, there's, Buddhas because that brings me peace with meditation. So you have to find the things that you love and put them in your home. I'm telling you, it feels so good. There, I have this Buddha that is carved out of wood and there's just something about it. Every time I look at it, 
But if it makes you feel good every day, listen. Till this day, I've had that piece for five years now. It's still in the same spot. And I absolutely love that Buddha. And sometimes I will meditate towards it. And it just, that's what you need. You need to incorporate things that feel good. Another thing that feels good is texture. My couch is microfiber. I know, it's, it's, it's terrible, right, if it gets dirty. But what I'm talking about is textures. If you have textures between blankets, you have throw blankets, you have pillows, you have, there's so many things you can choose from to actually, you know, make it what you really enjoy. And sometimes you gotta cuddle with your pillows or your blankets and just feel. It feels good. Point is, all these things are to make you feel good. And if you look at it and it makes you feel good, then just do it. Moving on to tip number 10, and that is music. Without music, I really don't know where I would be. So if I'm feeling in a negative vibe in my house, guess what? I'm gonna turn off the music, I'm gonna dance, I'm gonna sing, I'm gonna go crazy. It does not matter because truthfully, no one's watching. Unless it's you guys, but I don't mind. I trust you guys. Um, so powerful. I can be in the worst of moods and I play some music and I'm better. Now, I do have a playlist on for everything on Spotify. It just never ends. It's, it's just never ends and I'm constantly adding new stuff. So it makes me feel good. Why not? All these things are to make us feel positive to make us motivated to make us feel you know that we are living the life that we want so when you have your home as your sanctuary this is the place you can decompress this is the place where you can breathe relax there's no judgment there's no negative taking these few steps will help tremendously in making your home your sanctuary because you are home most of the time especially now while you know people are still quarantined or don't have a job and they're feeling low or scared this this moment is the moment to actually make your home you know your sanctuary uh, i hope you enjoyed this video i will be making more you know keep guys close to me and show you all the greatness and please let me know what makes your home your sanctuary I'd love to hear it we can go back and forth on it and yeah make it make it fun so leave a comment down below let me know what you guys think thanks friends I'll talk to you soon